relate to us by game is shoot up is we have some worrisome news and of course i saw this reported on in some other places but i did find this underreported which is sad to see because this is big news saudi arabia's public investment fund who owns savvy games group outlined a plan to set aside a staggering 37.8 billion dollars that is in usd of course to quote build the country's presence in the global games industry end quote and even more troubling on that 13.3 billion of that is specifically set aside for quote the acquisition and development of a leading game publisher to become a strategic development partner end quote as a reminder the crown prince of saudi arabia mohammed bin salman is the chairman on the board of directors at Saudi Arabia's Public Investments Fund. In a statement, Mahad said this, quote, Saudi Games Group is one part of our ambitious strategy aiming to make Saudi Arabia the ultimate global hub for the games and esports sector by 2030. We are harnessing the untapped potential across the esports and games sector to diversify our economy, drive innovation in the sector, and further scale the entertainment and esports competition offerings across the kingdom, end quote. The, remi- kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom. <laughs> the, rem- the remainder of this money will be used for minority investments in existing companies, diversification in the industry, and uh, diversification into the mature industry partners. The group aims to establish 250 gaming companies in Saudi Arabia, with an even more staggering number of 39,000 people employed between them. The the continued push into the game industry is incredibly troubling, given that Mohammed is seen to have been behind the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. And Saudi Arabia is an incredibly brutal brutal country with obvious human rights abuse that you can read all about. But they regularly torture, behead, and crucify people for multiple reasons. And since they follow Shahir Alad, homosexuality is punishable by death. There is no official number, as of course they don't report on these things for obvious reasons. Now... Maybe, and I trust you, Emmett, to sway me and talk me down from the giant cliffs I walk by every day. But I do find this troubling that I find that rarely is Saudi Arabia brought up in the overall conversation in the industry. At least we do talk about Tencent a little bit, although it's not enough to the degree as I'd wish. But, and we'll talk about Tencent later in the show. But for Saudi Arabia to openly execute people especially yep. gay people i think they executed 200 people this year that were homosexuals mm. horrifying very i hear everyone and again talk me off this ledge if if i cross the line here but why do we get upset about jk rowling saying obviously wrong things but i don't hear really anyone talking about this this is incredibly sad they own snk already so snk is now gone they own 96 percent of that company so that's just gone now so now i can never buy that game because i'm not giving money to these fucking people and then two i wish we had someone in the industry similar to um at least uh, people got a little more educated on the israel pakistan debacle when um i got him blanking on his name um it was an event where like that was a, spe- remember, a specific like, person championed at least people getting informed about the situation, regardless yes. of... And I forget his name. He works at GameSpot. Oh, uh, Tamor? Thank you, Tamor Hussein. Yeah. He was kind Tamor, of the main yeah. champion behind everyone getting at least a little more informed, whereas the game industry tends mm-hmm. to be a lot of people not really understanding history and things. At least people watch some YouTube videos to at least get some more context on, on very important situations. But this seems like an egregious miss by a lot of people in the industry really not talking about it and we'll talk about other things that we seem to miss uh when we bring up 10 cent later but please um what's your side on this and what did you make of this news this is incredibly troubling i think i say this is troubling in the same way it's troubling in a way that everyone agrees is bad in which you got a lot of people with a lot of money looking to use just their straight up capital to get into industries they know nothing about and possibly flunk out or make it worse um so just from that standpoint, no one likes that. We don't like it when Tencent's coming in here buying everything just because they can. We don't like it when any government or any group from any country comes in and just buys up a bunch of shit because they can, because capitalism is cancer. We all know that. But when it comes to this specifically, 
because I agree with you. Why are people looking not looking at this story and scrutinizing it to the same degree that, you know, pops up when we talk about something like a Harry Potter game? I think the difference here is it's easy to identify the bad guy and how to win in that battle when it's one problematic person. <laughs> when it's one person who has a ultimately fairly limited scope of influence. Yes, they, you know, J.K. Rowling, super famous person, wrote all these Harry Potter books. Yes, they have influence. But at the end of the day, their art isn't that good. <laughs> like, yeah, Harry Potter, we all have nostalgia. But outside of that, like, look at all the books she writes under different pen names and shit. Everyone that I know does not like those books. Yeah, they're or not. they're just super they're unhinged not. and really They're not really ways. good. They're not really good. Exactly. By so the way, like, I'm a Harry Potter fan. Those other ones, they're not good at all. I've read them. Yeah. And, and and at this point, most Harry Potter fans are Harry Potter fans, not J.K. Rowling fans. Yeah, like, that's a good Most point. of them have already put her to the wayside. So at, a, so at a certain point, yes, she's hateful. And yes, her influence is going to push other people towards that hate. But that's one isolated person where uh, someone like, let me make sure I'm getting the name right. Is it Muhammad Salman? Muhammad um, bin Salman is his full name. Yes. Or Muhammad that Bin fuck Salman. is also a good one. <laughs> yeah, that whoever this guy is the leader of an entire em, or hey, you can say empire, empire like, pretty much. I, I mean, the, empire, the yeah. only reason that Saudi Arabia is relevant is one natural resource that everyone in the world needs. Yeah, they they're oil barons and they have and used he all is this money and he is arguably the richest person in the world. I know Forbes would like you to think mm -hmm. that's Jeff Bezos. This dude dwarfs fucking elon musk's dollar amount by mm -hmm. several zeros so this guy yeah, is that ties into capitalism this dude is yes more. oh yeah they yeah. Want to believe that the bezos of the world have the most money so that you're like oh the american dream is real because in america they're rich it's like oh no if you want to like abuse public rights things you can really make some money in saudi arabia um but yeah i think the problem is people look at mohammed bin salman and they look at an entire kingdom that is led by a man who is clearly corrupt, that clearly has issues, that clearly is motivated by nothing but greed and doesn't have respect for, you know, some people in the in the country. Most people in the country, I'd say at this point. And you look at that and have a whole entire territory of folks who are, you know, killing gay people. And it's socially accepted there on um, people who are, you know bearing down under women in ways that the women don't like like they're doing all these things you look at an entire culture an entire group of people are doing that and it is harder to visualize a way forward through that it's harder to visualize a way to stop that because yeah you can get rid of one person but if you have a whole country full of people who follow this person feverishly someone's gonna just pop it's going to be reproducing reproducing by budding it's just going to be another clone that pops up and puts that up until you change the culture so it's hard and also it's hard to change that culture when a lot of people associate this stuff to like their religion which is not something that i want to touch or anybody else wants to touch because look at christianity there's a lot of bad shit we attach to christianity but i know plenty of christians who aren't shitty people yep who don't have shitty views so you can separate that stuff and have it work. I will say, you're, yeah. because you brought it up, I will say I've known multiple Muslims. I'm, I'm no mean attacking people who follow their their religion here. Exactly. And I'm also not attacking Saudi Arabians either. I'm attacking yeah. the Saudi royal family that openly executes and crucifies people in 2022 mm -hmm. for having sex with a man. Yeah. So like the, yeah. this is, we're These in like, place. they're in different, they're, these are different like universes. So I just, I wish, and I know People are going to just say, and I know people say. are just going to say, what about ism? It's such a lame thing to say, but I will, I just want, I just would like someone that's bigger than me to just be like, Hey, why aren't we talking about this? Similar to what to, uh, uh, Tamar did with, uh, the plight in Israel and Pakistan. And I, I that's all I want because it, it seems, it seems very troubling that we care about JK Rowling and not. $37.8 billion being injected into the industry. Literally a third of that is to buy stuff. That's fucking I'll, scary. I'll also say that, yes, this is still troubling, but on the same token, this is less... In the case of like when all the stuff was going on in Palestine earlier, 
that was a major political event that everyone should care about yes. because it's important for millions and millions of people. This is less of a major world event and more of a major industry event. And it's more of a case of the money is coming from a place we don't like. A dirt, it's It feels like dirty money rather than like, yeah. oh, you're coming in and you're wanting to do something for change. No, you just see profit in the industry. You're looking to capitalize. So from that standpoint, there are so many poison wells that are pouring water into this industry right now between Tencent and this and all these other folks from outside. You know, we... Let's not necessarily say Amazon Luna. That's not they're not doing that for altruistic purposes. They're trying to capitalize as well. Netflix as well. There's not a lot of all the big expansions that are moving into gaming right now. None of these are really pure. It's just that this one is it's impure in a way that ties into some real life, real world shit of people getting hurt. So like it's it, it's I would claim it's more serious, but I also understand why people aren't looking at this in a more maybe not fearful in a more like directly threatening way mm. because at the end of the day every every new person that's getting into games isn't here for the art form hell you could even argue microsoft playstation nintendo they're not here for the art form they're here to make money yeah so Agreed. any art that comes from that is incidental um i'm sure you know they're they're making all this thing the thing i'm more interested in is they're using all this money to get into the industry how many of these developers that, you know, people like to post talent from all these devs, how many of them are realistically going to move to Saudi Arabia to start a new studio? That's even hear- more hilarious. 250 gaming companies in Saudi Arabia with 39,000 people. You're fucking high yeah. if you think you're getting people to move yeah. to Saudi Arabia. The, the, I, I mean, you, they will yeah. openly murder you. Like, they don't care. Mm-hmm. They, this, this place is not in the realm of, like, uh, most of the world is right now. Like, they're, it's fucking lawless. It's crazy. Like, so I don't, I, that was even more shocking that they think they can get 39,000 people to go work for them. You, now they can definitely buy a company that yeah. is in, in Helsinki or something and just get the residuals. But at yep. the end of the day, like, especially with like the gaming industry or just like video gamers in general, I mean, gays in the word, <laughs> like there are so many people that are queer that I know that are in the industry or just fans of games. There's no way in hell that they're going to be working with Saudi Arabia. Yeah, so, like, so that was also wild. Like, yeah. it, it, maybe there is a large Middle Eastern gaming presence, but I, there, I I'm, doubt I'm it. I'm sure there's a, a, a bit of a presence, but at the end of the day, like... Is it 39,000 people? We, we, I don't think it's 39,000 people. <laughs> and even when Tamora was telling stories on, I think it was one of the episodes of uh, GameSpot After Dark, about how one of his first introduction with games are the bootleg games that they sell in like yep. Pakistan and places yep. like that, where it's just these weird ISOs and such. And you, that has nothing to do with like, like if you played Max Payne 1 through a weird ISO that got burned on some disc and that's your first experience of the game, Remedy knows nothing about that. They're mm-hmm. not seeing that dollar. So they're not really necessarily thinking of the influence that comes from places like these. So um, yeah, I, I I don't know about this plan, uh, it's it's definitely weird. I think once this becomes a bigger direct thing, because right now it's a threat. But yes, once like, a punch is thrown, once a punch is thrown, then people are like, oh, wait, what's going on here? I think it will get more attention as it gets more and more of an actual thing. But it's an uphill battle. And they're going to realize pretty quickly that, oh, if you're just killing homosexuals and just outright willy nilly and not even being slick about it, then yeah, people aren't going to want to work with you, let alone work in your country. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll have to see. This is, I do agree that this is, um, this is a time will tell thing. Um, Mm -hmm. So, we we will have to see. 13.3 is staggering. So, that, that's an easily purchasable square or something like that. So, yeah. All right. That was a long one. This is also another long one. So, stick with me here. (laughs) 